Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reader from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today I'm going to answer more of your questions. And the questions today are all about specific diseases. We're going to be talking about type 1 diabetes. We're going to talk about fatty liver disease, arthritis, and even more. These are important issues because they're important to you. So we're going to talk about how to fight these diseases biblically. Now, please realize that these answers are just my opinion, and they have not been approved by any government authority. And as you know, it is considered the law of the land that you must consult your physician before making any changes. So this is just my opinion. Also, I'm gonna be recommending some products products that I use. You could use these for comparison with what you're taking, or you could try them yourself. But if you do try them, just know that our ministry will benefit for, from a small financial gift from the company. So just wanna make sure you understand that. Now, let's get on to the topic of today. But before we do, one more announcement. I am going to be giving away a product for free as a gift to someone at the end of this video. If you would like to get entered into the drawing for a free gift, then you just leave a review of one of my books, either on our website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com, or Amazon, any one of my books on Amazon. And whether you are new to me or not, I have quite a few books and quite a few courses that you can find at biblicalnutritionacademy.com. A lot to teach you about God's recipe for excellent health. And that recipe, the most important ingredient in that recipe is the fact that God loves you. He loves you more than I love you, that's for sure. And we have a great team of people here at The Biblical Nutritionist and every one of them is here for a purpose, and it's to make sure that you understand God loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. He's loved you from the moment of conception. Question number one, can you help me with my fatty liver disease? This was submitted by Carolyn. Well, fatty liver disease is 100% reversible, yet if you don't take action on it, it can easily lead to liver failure. Changes need to happen in diet, exercise, and your liver support. The problem with fatty liver disease is that it has so many silent symptoms. So knowing you have this disease is very important. Some people have symptoms such as losing weight for no apparent reason, pain below the ribs to the right, or you're just tired all the time. It can be detected with blood work. If your liver enzymes, your ALT and your AST are elevated, that's a symptom. It can lead to metabolic disorder. Now, the sad truth is that in San Diego, they did a study and over 13% of the children had fatty liver disease. Now, this is a parenting problem. Parents not knowing how to feed their children well. High fructose corn syrup, artificially sweetened soft drinks, all contribute to fatty liver disease. Environmental toxins, junk food, and high fat diets, not counting healthy fats. So here's four steps for reversing this issue. Number one, we have to balance the microbiome. I share so often on this video series what foods build a healthy microbiome. It includes eating by the three principles. Eat the foods God called good for us. Eat the foods as close to his design. And don't let any food become an addiction. The microbiome changes for prevention when it's fed prebiotic and probiotic rich foods and also some supplements. Now this includes kefir, kimchi, homemade yogurt with active starters, and fermented foods. Number two, lifestyle and supplements. Now weight is a contributing factor to fatty liver disease. So lose at least 10% of your weight and then more if you're over 25 pounds overweight. Eat whole foods, whole foods, real foods, God designed foods. No refined sugars ever. No soft drinks, they soften the bones, bones and they fatten the liver. No alcohol. Take an antioxidant supplement. Take liver support supplements. I'll share what I take down below so you can look at that. Number three, check your blood work every four to six months. Pay attention to the liver enzymes, the AST and the ALT. And step number four, fasting. A minimum of 12 hours every day to reduce stress and just to stay in a healthful state. Remember, this is reversible, but every single day of your life, we have to be intentional about what we feed this body, which is a temple. Great question, and thanks for asking. Question number two, how do you biblically heal arthritis when you already eat kosher and whole foods? Submitted by Laura. Well, arthritis is inflammation, and even though you're eating kosher and whole foods, there's still a food issue in the body. 
Food sensitivities can lead to inflammation. Trauma can lead to inflammation. But inflammation can be healed. The diet is always going to be the same. The three principles, I just shared them. Eat the food God called good for us. Eat these foods as close to his design. This means grow your own, find a farmer, no GMO, no additives, read every label. A body with with arthritis is already overloaded and doesn't need any, and I mean any, additives. No refined sugar, no processed foods, no alcohol, and no chemicals. Step three, don't let any food become an addiction. Any food that you cannot walk away from for a month could be an addiction. Pray for awareness of any foods or restaurants that might be addictive. Now, okay, since I mentioned restaurants, avoid all of them. Do not go to a restaurant. And then use the Hunger Satisfied Journal to record your eating plan and how you feel. Record how you feel prior to every meal and how you feel after every meal up to two to four hours. Record your pain levels. Continue doing this for three months. We need to discover if any foods are contributing to your inflammation. Next, we need to supplement. And I recommend a digest enzyme for every meal that you eat. And then I also recommend for arthritis people, a protease enzyme that you take between meals. What this does is it promotes optimal blood flow, efficient detoxification, and it helps get rid of and manage inflammation. It's called TPP protease IFC, and it's taken between meals. I'll add a link to it down below, and I use this with my husband. So, I have two product links for digest enzymes, so you can look at those down below as well and see if you prefer one of those or compare it with what you already take. The bottom line is to recognize that this is a daily battle and you can win this battle, but you're gonna need help. God's foods are step one, enzymes are step two. So to answer your question about how to heal biblically, we focus on the foods that are mentioned in God's word. This would start with the seven foods of the promised land. These are paramount for healing. Then add in supplements made from God's food for healing, (laughs) all right? Okay, so question number three, what kind of biblical nutrition do you recommend for type one diabetic? Submitted by Andrea. Well, this answer is the same. We eat by the three principles. High fiber, no process or sugar ever again. (laughs) Make that priority number one, like never, ever, ever let that touch your lips. Then we use the Hunger Satisfied Journal to identify foods that might cause mind-altering effects or blood sugar upswings. With insulin issues, it's best to know how the body is assimilating different foods and then to correct it. We correct it by taking digestive enzymes with every meal. Enzymes are made in your body. God designed you to have enzymes, and they also come in some of the foods we eat. And they cause a reaction or they speed up a reaction. So when we take enzymes as a supplement with our meals for digestion, it helps our body to grab the nutrients from the food quicker, giving us energy from the food and then able to digest all of the food for a healthy effect in our body. So type one, eat only real foods, no lab experiments. Take t- Step two, take a digestive enzyme with every meal. And if you have trouble with eating too much, then I recommend taking a balanced enzyme for glucose control. So the answer is to eat the foods that God called food for us and then help our body to assimilate the foods for its best use. And that's what the enzyme supplements do. Question number four, I'm tired of being tired, but I have no thyroid and I take medication. So I'm fearful that nothing will help with energy, but I feel the Lord has been leading me to try a biblical approach to quote diet. This is submitted by Laura. Well, this answer is the same as all the other answers that I've just shared. We start with the three principles. Next, we use the Hunger Satisfied Journal to discover what foods are causing you to be more tired and have a bad attitude, or have, I'm not saying you do, (laughs) some people do. Then we use enzymes for assimilation and best use of all the foods that we eat. So then we need to reduce stress, get enough sleep, and meditate on God's word. Use the Hunger Satisfied Journal to discover foods that are tiring you out or causing like a jet lag in your system. Find a good salt. Real salt is a brand that I love. Celtic salt is very good. Salt is necessary for you. Avoid all milk products that are not from a local farmer or make your own nut milks. Whole grains, only eat grains that you mill yourself. Include oat berries, steel cut oats, brown rice, basmati rice, never, ever, ever a white product or processed grain. Okay, so let's look at the answers that we've talked about today. Now, all of these questions have asked specifically, how do I heal this biblically? Biblically comes down to what food did God give to you 
as a gift. Remember, we could still be eating manna and quail forever, but we're not. We get to enjoy such a bounty of foods. What foods that God created help you feel good? And which foods are you now having a sensitivity to? So it's contributing to inflammation. So inflammation is a result of a leaky gut. Diabetics type 1, they're now recognizing that also is leading from a, t- uh, a leaky gut. So we have to, we have to heal the gut in every situation, whether it's arthritis, whether it's uh, type 1 diabetics, whether it's fatty liver disease, we have to heal the gut. And that will only happen when we're eating rich, God-given foods in their natural form. So a bowl of blueberries should be your dessert. Okay, freshly milled grain should be how you make your bread. We have to get back to the foods that God created for us. That's the biblical answer. So when you go through scripture, there is a long menu of items to put on your grocery list each week that are found in scripture. Oils should be an olive oil. So it's so simple when you just look at what the Bible says. The Bible is also very clear about what animal products are unclean. Unclean animal products lead to inflammation. (laughs) They're from animals that are carnivores, and we aren't designed to eat them, (laughs) okay? We're designed to eat herbivores. So anyway, these are answers that are biblically accurate. We want to eat the way God said would be best for us. And when he talks about the unclean, he says that's an abomination. Some people say, well, that's just Old Testament. Well, you know what? He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And what he thought was best for the Israelites, I'm going to take as what's best for me because I've been grafted in and I want to take advantage of every benefit he has written in his word. And then eating just our regular foods, our berries, our vegetables, our meats, if you're going to eat meat, just all different foods, what applies to what God has given us. Then because our digestive system, our leaky gut has contributed to the inability to assimilate and metabolize it helps to take a digestive enzyme. Now that takes me to our winner today. So today I am giving away a free product of digestive enzymes. And so I am, I didn't really think I needed enzymes. I thought I was doing very well, but I started taking the enzymes and I noticed, you know, I, I feel much better. I you never had those occasional little burps or, you know, belches. Okay, I know <laughs> you wouldn't think I would do that, but I do, <laughs> used to. When I do this, I don't have that problem. I feel better after I eat when I take the enzymes because I'm not in my 30s anymore. I'm not in my 40s anymore. And so my digestive system, I ate poorly for 40 years. And so I'm kind of paying the price still. So the digestive enzymes, which I thought I didn't need because I thought I ate really well, have made a big difference. And so... Yeah, I have now decided, you know what, why not take one with every meal? So today, Terry Hawk is going to get our gift today. So Terry Hawk, you need to email info at thebiblicalnutritionist.com. In the subject line, it needs to say winner number 90. Okay, and that'll draw our attention to make sure that you are have a, the gift sent to you. So if you want to get your name entered into the drawing for the products, these I give away a lot of different things. This is definitely another good one. But you need to go to Biblical Nutrition Academy Facebook group and you can enter your questions to get answered here on the Q&A to get entered into the drawing for the free products. Then you need to go to either Amazon and leave a review for one of my books or go to our website, thebiblicalnutritionist.com and leave a review for our books. If you leave a review for one of the new books or the re-updated books, which is the cookbook, the satisfied book, and the prepper book, then you get entered twice. So I'm so excited. Terry Hawk, be sure and email us. You have 60 days from the posting of this video to claim your gift. And for everyone else, just remember, God's recipe for excellent health is for you, for you, for your family, for your friends, everyone. Please share this video with those you know, or those in your church group or Bible study group, or those you just like. So thanks for watching. I am Annette Reeder from thebiblicalnutritionist.com.